Welcome to another QLab and VDMX tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to send a video out of QLab from Siphon into VDMX and then use VDMX's blend modes to add a lightning effect on top of it and then send it back to QLab. Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna start by adding a video. As you can see that this is a boat at sea and maybe I want to add some lightning flashes to it or something that's triggered by audio from on stage or just, you know, a simple clap. To start, I'm going to make sure that my QLab is set to demo mode to get full functionality out of it. I'm going to go to video. I'm going to make sure I add a new empty surface. I'm going to call this one Siphon Out. Hit the plus, add a siphon. I'm going to make sure that my output resolution is set. Okay, I'll close that. So now, whenever I click on this and I go to display geometry, I'll make sure that I'm sending it out via siphon. So if I hit spacebar, it's playing, but it's looping out to siphon, which we haven't pulled in yet. So I'm gonna hit escape on that. Just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna make sure this video is on infinite loop. Then I'm gonna go ahead and open up VDMX. When VDMX opens, I'm just gonna click on templates and go to siphon player. I'm gonna take this video out and I'm actually gonna select the main output for right now. If I go back to the settings under the video tab of QLab, you can see where it says camera patch. I'm gonna make sure that I select VDMX's main output. Hit done. Now if I add a camera, I have it set to this VDMX main output and it'll display and display one. And if I hit spacebar, you'll see that I'm getting the checkerboard from VDMX. I hit escape. In VDMX over in this media bin, I'm gonna right click. Add clips from built-in source, siphon, and then here's QLab siphon out. If I select this and I hit spacebar back in QLab, you'll see that I have this boat at sea. I'm gonna remove this zoom effect and now with VDMX, I want to make sure that I'm adding another layer over top of this. So we'll call this ship. Let's see. I'll hit plus and add a new layer. I'm going to call this light. And then I'll move this new video layer above the other one. Here I'm going to hit this pop out button just so I have the controls available for that layer. One of the things I have access to in VDMX that I can't use in QLab are ISF shaders. So for instance, right now this media bin is selected uh, ship at sea. I'm gonna have it trigger the lightning layer. I'm going to select it. Here in this, this composition tab, I'm gonna expand this. I'm gonna select the source. So now if I hit this flash button, you'll see that that lightning appears over top. I'll pair that to a key on my controller. And now if I hit spacebar and hit that key, you'll see that I'm creating a flash over top. Now with VDMX, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna click on plugins and I'm gonna add an audio analysis. I'm gonna expand this so that you can see it. So now whenever I make sounds, talk, clap, it triggers that on the audio analysis. I'm gonna right click on this flash. I'm gonna use data source, audio analysis, filter three. So now my sound triggers that flash. I'm gonna go back into QLab. I'm gonna hit auto continue. So when I hit spacebar on this, it's gonna trigger both at the same time. Sending this ship out to VDMX and then activating this camera, which is bringing VDMX back in and displaying it on my main display. So let's hit go. And now, cool, cool. All right, I'm gonna undo the auto follow real quick. I'm gonna open my folder and drag in another ISF shader. Make sure that I'm on the right layer. 
select it, go here into the composition tab, and I'm going to change the blend mode to multiply. Now I'll hit spacebar, back in QLab. And now we have two different layers that are blended together in ways that you can't do in QLab. All right, well, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. So hopefully now you know how to use QLab and VDMX to send something into Siphon, blend it, and then send it back out. All right, thanks.